Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our expert talk on Formnext TV. In this edition, we will talk about bioprinting, and I have two guests here in the studio, one virtual and one physical guest, which I will start presenting to you now. Sascha Wenzler, Vice President of Formnext, welcome here in the TV studio. Good morning, Guido. <laughs> and virtually connected, Itedal, Namro Redwan of Selling Life Science. Hello to Sweden. Hello, hello. Thank you for hosting us. A real pleasure. And we will talk about bioprinting technology. And your company, Selling, is specialized on this, uh, on this uh, technology. So to start with, what is the actual state in this technology? What possibilities do you have uh, when uh, bioprinting? Absolutely. Uh, so it, it is indeed an amazing field. Uh, the bioprinting, the biodispensing and biofabrication field is indeed amazing. And uh, we have just started to pave the way for what it is we can achieve with the technology. Uh, we strongly believe that uh, it will be a strong contribution to the future of medicine. Today we are at the stage where we have the technology required, we have the tools required to fabricate 3D models using bioprinting. Uh, and we can actually fabricate models for drug testing, for disease modeling, for understanding healthy tissue. Uh, but what we believe will be the future is of course uh, to uh, print smaller organs or tissues for uh, regenerative medicine applications. Mm -hmm. We will come back to that later on. Sasha, um, the health sector is surely one of those who are mostly demanding additive manufacturing technologies. You're noticing that very much during Form Next, um, whether on physical trade shows or on virtual ones like we have this year. So um, how important is the health, the medical sector for AM? Yeah, it's uh, Guido and uh, it, it, I just said it. Uh, it's one of the most interesting fields where to use additive manufacturing as a technology. And uh, we, we are not only mesomaniacs, uh, so uh, real experts in, in what we are doing regarding the trade fair business, but we are also uh, additive addicts. And when you look at the possibilities of additive manufacturing in medical technology, in dental, then uh, you experienced already in the last three to five years when we, when we started the show, you experienced really the development, the very fast development of applications. Mm -hmm. And uh, applications uh, starting outside of the body, when you think of surgical guides, for example, but uh, already in use is uh, a lot of possibilities uh, when you enter the body. And uh, up until now, uh, we see a lot uh, of possibilities and solutions uh, already on the show floor. Uh, just have a look on implants, for example, or on uh, on the prosthetic sector. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now we are entering uh, a future coming uh, where we talk about tissue printing. And that's a clear uh, future perspective for additive manufacturing. So uh, it's, it's, it will find a home at Formnext. The, the exciting thing about additive manufacturing uh, was and surely still is and will be in the future is the, the new way of approaching new ideas and to, um, to, to bring visions into life. And in the health sector, Itadal, uh, I guess that it uh, was not possible to do such things that you are doing at the moment before additive manufacturing technologies were invented, right? Absolutely. I mean, there are uh, amazing things that you can actually do with this additive manufacturing technology. Um, first of all, we are automating a lot of things that were done manually, uh, you know, in, in traditional, uh, even the fabrication of models. Uh, but now you can actually use uh, automation, which um, introduces the ability to produce reliable and reproducible uh, models uh, and structures. And this is indeed very, very important for uh, to, to be implemented in the medical uh, and healthcare system. 
Mm -hmm. um, the, the companies that are working in this sector, um, and then I, I found that uh, very, very exciting when, when I met some of those companies, they are really addicted to this technology. It's not just um, a case of doing business or of inventing something new, um, uh, but this is really addiction. So um, the community is really uh, helping each other to bring this technology forward. Do you share this, uh, this uh, opinion? Yeah, and uh, the, the fact is it is still like this. So uh, many, many of the companies, and it's a young technology we talk about, additive manufacturing, let's say roughly 30 years. Many of the companies started really in a garage-like business, and uh, some of them are today uh, some of the global leading companies in additive manufacturing. But throughout this development, still this, this very familiar feeling, this very close connection inside the AM community uh, exists. And uh, that's, that's, a f that's a very big benefit for, for the technology because then uh, there's a spread of ideas, a share of ideas, and, and the development is moving on in a, in a joint effort. So, that's still the case and I hope it will stay uh, in this very strong community feeling for the next years to come because it will give a, a big push to, to the technology. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the future because we are, uh, we are in, 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 in um, exciting times at the moment so there's a lot going on in the additive manufacturing market but uh, of course it will be even more exciting in the future when the visions of the companies will come into play. Itadal, what is your vision? How will Cellink develop the technology further? What will, are, are your future perspectives? Thanks for that very, very important question. First of all, uh, I just want to add a small thing. Uh, additive manufacturing can be applied to many, 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 many different areas. Uh, and different industries. Uh, our focus at Selink has been and is life science. Uh, it is bioconvergence uh, and its contribution to, to the future of uh, medicine. And in that regard, what we're always doing at, at Selink is trying to develop new technologies to always make sure that we're providing the cutting edge and the leading new inventions. Either we develop it in-house or we partner with leaders uh, in the industry. It could be an academic scientist who, for example, developed an amazing technology that should be used for creating the printers of the future, uh, then we would add those. Um, we have also lifted our uh, vision a little bit and not only focusing on the bioprinting and additive manufacturing, but also providing all the other tools that you need in the workflow to create the future of bioprinting. You not only need the printer, you need the biomaterials, the bioinks, but then you also need all the other necessary tools and providing the best uh, and the future has, has always been a vision and mission for us in the R&D and in the technology development department. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. Sasha, um, where do you see um, the industry heading to in the next years? Because you have quite a good an overview because all of the exhibitors at Form Next are part of this family. So where are they mainly heading to? Let's talk about life science uh, um, especially. Yeah, uh, Itida, thank you very much for, for your points because this perfectly reflects one of the basic principles of Formnext, which uh, from the very first beginning was, and that's the reason why it's called Formnext as an additive manufacturing show and not a 3D printer show, because we really talk about industrial additive manufacturing. Mm -hmm. And this means, and uh, that was a way of the development and that's a clear path of the future. This this means uh, you need to show and concentrate on a solution of additive manufacturing and when you talk about a solution in all the varieties of uh, user industries you have different steps in the process chain of manufacturing mm -hmm. and, and that's, uh, that's our aim to show this whole process chain 
starting right from, from the development, from the design, from the software. You have a lot of pre-processing uh, technologies coming up or existing. There is still a lot of uh, handwork, but there is a lot of change towards uh, automation or uh, what Itadai talked about, about the control of the process, about uh, the quality of the product, about uh, the, the replicatable uh, amount of, of uh, products you, you are printing. You have the printing process and there we also see a lot of uh, new developments uh, nearly every month. Uh, and you have a lot of post-processing technologies mm -hmm. necessary to realize a product uh, to be transformed or to be used in another product or as a finished product. So it's a real process you are looking on and that's necessary and relevant for every industry using additive manufacturing in the industrial way. And uh, just a, a short glimpse in the future uh, towards uh, bioprinting for example. And that's also uh, uh, our uh, aim is to show every possible use case of additive manufacturing in an industrial serious way and when we see a future perspective like bioprinting it it and I perfectly described it uh, it's it's about uh, human health about mm -hmm. helping humans with their medical uh, problems mm -hmm. so it's a real future technology helping helping the people and then our aim is also to integrate this on the show floor and uh, how we, how do we do it um, it's uh, starting maybe with a special show, for example, putting a spotlight on, on the possibility, what's possible tomorrow or maybe the day after tomorrow. And as soon as companies like uh, Itida, Selling uh, and colleagues are emerging in the market, then our uh, job is to bring them on the show floor and to make it attractive for the audience, the customers, uh, to come and visit and see everything. Itadal, I'm curious about one thing, so uh, please allow me this question. Is this, this technology uh, that you are working on at the moment, is that mainly um, customer or market driven? Or better said, is the, uh, are, are the scientists or the, um, uh, the, the, the medicine people, the, um, um, uh, the laboratories demanding those technologies or are you mainly offering new technologies that they can pick and use it um, because they are offered this in, in new? So the question shortly said, is it market driven or is it technology driven from selling? So I can tell you the answer is yes and yes, because we have had both uh, during my time within selling. When I started three years ago, uh, I mean, uh, it was quite difficult to enter the biofabrication and bioprinting field simply because there were not enough uh, high quality product products out there with a good price for a good price uh, when we entered the field we actually democratized the industry and allowed any scientist to be able to use bioprinting but since that point it was still early on in the bioprinting industry when we put the printer in their labs uh, we had to demonstrate how our products were to be used and then we were listening to them to optimize the product and further develop. So we provided the product and we had to start by showing our customers the data that the biomaterials and bio ink work and the bioprinting process works. Uh, and during the process, we've learned from our customers how we need to further develop and optimize our technology. So it's been the uh, circle going back and forth and everything we've done and all new product uh, development that we've done since uh, the start of the company has been based on customer feedback and what the customer needs. However, to get into those labs, we had to really, really early on show how to use it. Uh, and now we can focus on empowering the customers and, and hearing uh, what they want. So now I could say we are finally getting to the point where it's market driven. We have customers coming to us, telling us what it is they need in terms of technology, workflow, materials, uh, and we can focus on producing and delivering those products, while in the past it was vice versa. 
That's extremely exciting. Itadel, thank you very much for your information. Thank you for participating in our today's show about bioprinting. Uh, I think you will have a great future ahead of you and uh, I'm looking forward to meeting you next time, uh, hopefully in person um, uh, here at the Form Next show. Uh, thank you very much. My regards uh, to Gothenburg in Sweden. Itadel, see you next time. Sascha Wenzler. Thank you very much for participating here in the studio and thank you for watching and we will be back tomorrow here at Expert Talk on Formnext TV.